Welcome to Built by Design. Today we're going to be covering the basics of Inventor Fusion, and that is 2D sketching. So we're going to launch Inventor Fusion right here. So this first dialog box you can cancel out. If you want to sign into Autodesk 360, you can as well. Um, so this is recent files that you've saved, as well as the new and open. So we're going to open a new document here. So this is our work area um, to create 3D models within. So we have up here, these are the tools that we have to work with. Uh, these are the sketch tools here. Uh, and then up here at the top, these are going to be 3D um, moving along. And then we have view tools down here. So zoom, pan, rotate. And then this is also a rotating ball that you can click and drag to rotate around and change your view. So the first, and then we have a browser here. This is more or less kind of the history of your part and your objects in 3D designs. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna change our units from millimeters to inches. It's important to do that now because if you do it later, it's really a pain. And then we're gonna go over here and click create new sketch. So when you create a new sketch, it gives you a couple different options to select plane. So we're gonna select this back plane. Um, once you've selected a plane, at least for me, I always find it best to then rotate so that you're just seeing the 2D sketch plane environment. Um, once we're there, then we're going to click over here, click line. And while you notice when you create a line, um, it gives you a couple different options. So you have this distance here as well as then degrees. So for us right now, we're just going to not worry about those too much. But if you want to, you can actually type in. So I'm gonna actually, no matter, I'll do that right now. I'm going to type in three inches. Click enter and then click, and that'll make that line exactly three inches long. So go through. You also notice that once I turn it into a closed shape, it turns orange. And this is really important because orange shapes can be turned into 3D and things that aren't orange can't be turned into 3D. So it's kind of an important thing to remember when you're doing and drawing things. So then we over here we have constraints. So I want to actually turn this into a rectangle right now. It's a weird polygon thing. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I want to make these lines perpendicular to one another. How do I do it? I do that with constraints. I'm gonna go over here, select perpendicular. Uh, and then once I select that, have that selected, I can collect two lines and it'll make it perpendicular. You can see then that I have the little square in the corner, meaning that it's perpendicular. That means that those two lines are constrained perpendicular to one another. So continue that through the rest. And there we have it. Now we have a perfectly constrained rectangle. But you say, hey, you know, I actually want to make this not crooked. So we can go click horizontal. This will make it horizontal to the sketch plane that we're on right now. There we go, beautiful. We have a rectangle, but I don't want this rectangle. I want this to be a square. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna click the equal constraint, make these two lines equal to one another. So let's say that, oh great, you made a square that way, you wanna make it faster. There's an option for that, and that's over here um, in our toolbox. So we have the rectangle tool, so you can just select one point, and then another, that creates a nice pretty rectangle, which we can easily turn into a square with the equal constraint, select two lines, make them equal, and there we go, we have a square. So now that we have a square, what you can do is you can actually resize these and they will remain the uh, maintain that associativity um, based on those constraints. So they will remain a square and a perfect square and it's not going to revert to a rectangle or some odd shape. But when you don't put those constraints on, um, as I'll show you here, what will happen is you can actually move and adjust this and change the entire look as and and direction of what the shape is. So if I click on the corner, I can actually drag, completely adjust, um, and move the shape around. So I'm not limited to things. So this actually does have a few constraints that um, were put on it, just based off of when I was sketching, it natively kind of dropped those constraints in. Um, but you can actually go through one of those functions that'll get rid of it. So um, another option we have too is to make circles. Circles, you can make them tangent and concentric as well. Um, so this we're gonna make tangent to the line. 
There you go, you see a little tangent circle. So that is sketching. Um, continue watching the next video to see how you can turn these sketches into 3D objects. Thanks for watching. Built by Design.